Fast and Furious 7 in this bitch. More explosions, more cars, beautiful women, Vin Diesel, The Rock, Jason Statham, Ronda Rousey, the list just goes on. Paul Walker in parts. Brass tanks. What's going on people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know. You already know. New subscribers, welcome. Existing subscribers, I love you. Yes, I'm wearing a Deadpool t-shirt because that's the way I'm rolling today. I forgot to mention something in the previous Fast 6 review and this one right here, and that is that both versions on 4K include the extended edition in this bitch. And here we have it, people. Fast and Furious 7. I like the whole kind of silvery artwork. I really do. Very, very nice. Let's have a look here. <clears throat> yeah, she was tasty, baby. Anyways, let's have a look at this. Blu-ray standard features that, that were in the original disc. High dynamic range. Okay, fair enough. Let's open this up. Be the same, but without the silver finish. Guess how it looks with the wrapping off? Exactly the same in this bitch. Let's open this up. And there we go. Digital code. Very nice. Oh, works always eight one, and then you got the Blu-ray version, and there we have it again, people. Fast and Furious Seven. So Owen Shaw got fucked up in the last movie. Now Vin Diesel and his crew, they've all separated to go just live their normal lives in this bitch. But little do they know, Jason Statham, Owen's older brother, is looking for revenge. Government agent Kurt Russell uh, is offering to help uh, Vin Diesel and his boys and his team because they also need some dude with some surveillance bullshit. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. That type of situation. Out of a number of scenes which I love. The fight between Wanda Rousey and Michelle Rodriguez. God damn, that was kick-ass. Everything from the scenery, the way it was shot. James Wan knows what he's doing as a director. I gotta be honest with you. The Rock is back kicking ass as usual. Is it a Ferrari or the Lambo? Whatever the fuck it is that they, that they drove out that window. God damn, that was another beautiful scene. Unrealistic scenes which would never happen in real life. You know they were plunged to their death in real life, but they made it look good. Great action. And another thing, obviously, Paul Walker died midway through filming this and his brother took over. Very, very classy ending to this movie. Part seven and part five, in recent memory, are two of my most favorite Fast movies. And part eight looks phenomenal in this bitch. On that alone, I love this movie. Highly recommend you watch it. If you haven't watched it already, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Gal Gadot, baby. You amazing, you my Wonder Woman, baby. If you happen to be watching this, just inbox me, baby. But as beautiful as you are, there is another girl on the scene right now that just making my heart race in this bitch. And that girl is Nathalie. I don't think it's Nathalie, it's Nathalie Emmanuel. She's British, so all you Americans, hands off. God damn, she is beautiful. Beautiful. Jesus Christ. I ain't gonna lie to you, as soon as I saw in this movie, I looked her up. Follow on the Instagram, because that's how your boy roll. Furious 7, aspect ratio 235.1, black bars. Shot in 2.8K, 4K, and 6K in this bitch. Visual effects, 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K. DTS-X audio. Beautiful transfer. It is a huge uptick from the 1080p by quite some margin. You're gonna notice detail. Vin Diesel's face, he's looking a bit older these days. You see wrinkles, pores and everything. Every individual strand of Kurt Russell's hair in this bitch. But he's still G'd up. He's still the man in this bitch. Let's not fuck around. There's a pursuit happening. You notice all the leaves on the trees. It stands out. There's that much detail in this bitch. It is A1 detail. The HDR is very apparent. You can tell because there's different color tones. A bluish hue, which is obviously the way it's shot, but... It really stands out in the HDR. Like I said, you know, the scene with the Ferrari, or was it the Lamborghini? I don't know what the fuck it was, right? The red car in that building. I've never seen a car look so beautiful in my life. The reflections and everything looked A1 in this bitch. It looked gorgeous. It really was popping out of the screen. The depth is another thing you're gonna notice very well. Like, you know what, I'm even gonna lie to you. I double checked to see if it was really Universal releasing this bitch, because this looked like a Sony transfer. It looked that good, people. I can understand some of you may give this reference quality. There are some reference quality moments. There are some scenes which is gonna make your jaw drop. There's little to no noise in this bitch. You know what, it's one pubic hair away from reference. As a matter of fact, 
I could say it's referenced, but I don't think it quite goes there. Just quite, just, just about, but it's beautiful, people. Some of you may just put it in your reference list, and I totally understand if you do. Other reviewers may just say it's reference. If I'm a bit hesitant on saying something is reference quality, chances are it's not quite there, but it's fucking close. I said the same thing about Hacksaw Ridge. It's on that kind of level, if not better in parts. There are some standout scenes in this bitch. Looks beautiful. The scene that opens up with it, with, where they're driving through the desert demo quality shit demo quality in this bitch colors are vibrant there's a bit i can't remember where it was but there was a bit uh where all the cars pull up one by one when the whole team goes there demo quality but i think some parts of the movie are slightly softer than they should be because they're shot with multiple cameras i can understand why it's not 100 percent consistent the whole way through but either way pick this up god damn <laughs> This movie is, is, is all about visuals. It's designed to be shown off, and that's exactly what it does. It, it shows itself off. It flexes its 4K HDR muscles. There's some standout moments, there's some reference moments. Gorgeous transfer, pick it up. That's really all I can say about it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful transfer. Not quite reference in my opinion, but it's got some moments in this bitch that just look wow. Pre-order that bitch, or buy that bitch if you're in the UK, because we get it a week before you guys. Oh shit. But I got it two weeks before you guys. That's because I'm amazing. Anyway, take care guys. Hit the like button. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch up with you guys soon. Take care.